Thank you. Uh, thanks again, Joe, for uh, inviting me uh, to be here. Uh, so as to try not to overlap with the, the next two talks, really I'm going to limit my uh, conversation here to some of the theoretical issues surrounding laparoscopic or minimally invasive uh, resections for colorectal metastasis. We're going to talk a little bit about some general considerations. Um, we're going to discuss the goals of surgical treatment for this disease and then issues that I think are pertinent to minimally invasive uh, hepatectomies. Uh, we try to take some cues uh, from the development of other technologies, and uh, maybe uh, this is emblematic of where uh, minimally invasive resection is. Clearly feasible, practical in a general sense, likely not. Um, potentially dangerous, yes. Should everyone get one? Probably not yet, such as, uh, as with the uh, jet pack here. Um, but clearly we're making progress. Um, it's important to have a healthy dose of skepticism uh, with new technologies, new treatments, et cetera, but we don't as well want to find ourselves on the wrong side of history. Uh, famous uh, Viennese uh, surgeon Theodore Billroth potentially found himself on the wrong side of history with respect to heart surgery, although for the time in which he was in, he was clearly right. And for, for now, with respect to minimally invasive liver resection, you know, are comments appropriate for the time that we're in? With respect to colorectal metastasis and the surgical management of them, there are a number of general principles. Clearly, as you've already heard, hepatic resection is really critical to long-term survival. Uh, the five-year survival really uh, does appear to be improving. Uh, whether that's chemotherapy, I might argue that that is a small component of it thus far. It probably has more to do with better cross-sectional imaging and some operative techniques, et cetera. It is very clear from the data uh, including that that Eddie just showed, uh, markers of a residual disease, I think, are the most important prognostic factors for outcomes after hepatic resection for colorectal metastasis. Clearly, this should be done with a very low perioperative mortality, uh, significantly less than 5% in the general population of resected colorectal mets, should generally be 2 to 3%. Still in the very large volume resections, though, it's going to be approximately uh, at that level. Nonetheless, the morbidity rate still is unacceptably high. Uh, as also discussed, there are really few patients with colorectal metastasis in the literature of uh, MIS hepatectomy. Well, with respect to MIS hepatectomy, uh, these are some of the questions that come to mind. You know, can the goals of the surgical treatment for a metastatic colorectal cancer be achieved via minimally...